Next up, we have a Filipino, Mexican, and Native American visual artist who represents San Gabriel Valley. His art has made its way to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American Art and Culture, and he's sharing his inspirations with us. My name is Patrick Martinez. I'm a Los Angeles-based artist. Uh, the piece behind me is an updated peachy folder. The traditional peachy folders that people are used to were uh, kind of idealized American high school scenes of scholastic sports, you know, um, kids playing football, baseball, running track, uh, all these kinds of like, you know, situations teams are in. Uh, the folder originally was made in the 1950s. So um, it's something that I grew up with. It was something that we put our homework in, put in our back pocket or in our backpack. We drew on them. We wrote, num you know, people's phone numbers down. I did graffiti on them because I was a graffiti writer, an artist. So there was just kind of like this nostalgic high school middle school uh, item and it was a it's a piece of americana i think subtle piece of americana mixed media artist patrick martinez doesn't pull any punches when it comes to his work representing his life background and the tension of the protests in la so when i was updating this folder i've done so many paintings and uh, drawings of uh, like updated folders or this peachy kind of idea of updating the scenes for this piece, I wanted to use traditional kind of color uh, motif that the peachy folder is known for. The reason it's called peachy is because of the peachy color that uh, the folders were, you know, originated. It's kind of like this, more for me, it's more yellow, but it was, for them, it was an or orange kind of peachy color. Um, so I, I took that as a, as, a, as a foundation and then I switched and updated the scene. So. I started the project in 2005 and I drew kind of more generic scenes, cop chasing the kid, um, you know, kid getting harassed uh, on a cop car, stuff like that, scenes like that. And I was always interested in that idea of youth and authority. So that's kind of where it stemmed from. And I saw it in high school, my, I, my brother went through, you know, just stuff that you wouldn't, you would see, but you wouldn't, you know, capture it on cell phone, capture it on, uh, you know, camera phone. So a lot of these images, fast forward 2015, 14, are now, we're now seeing the portraits of the people that have uh, been, you know, re really modern day lynched. Um, and they're, some of them are very young. Um, a lot of the uh, scenes are connected. I'm, I'm doing a drawing right now uh, where, um, you know, like uh, the front of the peachy folder, original peachy folder is um, kids running, white kids running. So I'm thinking about Ahmaud Aubrey and, you know, like things like that. And then even like Eric Gardner, the, the detective that was uh, um, harassing him and, and brutalizing him, um, I painted in 2015 because he had a football jersey on. So it reminded me of these scenes. So I wanted to update these scenes for America and place them back into the American, uh, you know, the, the, the society or even high school. So I actually printed these folders and uh, distributed them out to high schools and colleges and things like that to, to give them an updated version of this. Patrick is centering people of color in the not so typical form of cake portraits. The cakes that I produce and paint, um, they're all made out of paint and um, they're more of a celebratory um, angle to um, highlight people that are known, that are unknown, that people that we need to know, uh, people that need to be painted into importance. So I feel like a painting um, cements someone into, you know, uh, cements their image into, you know, kind of like importance. Uh, when you paint someone, they're like, who is that, why? Why are you painting him? Why are you painting her? Um, so the cake is something that I wanted to do because I wanted, I'm always interested in painting portraits. I'm something I like doing, but I wanted to do it in a new way and I needed a new kind of framework. Um, so the cake kind of goes back to the community aesthetic. It's something, the sheet cake uh, with the image printed on top that's edible um, is where I get the inspiration from.